What is the role of Endogain in periodontology today? Well, I think after 15 years, Endogain has been proven very successful in regenerative and mucogingival therapy, as long as you follow the treatment indications and the surgical guidelines. Today we are looking back on about 15 years of using Endogain in daily periodontal treatment. And uh, the role is uh, that is, um, Endogain is very much implemented in our daily treatment. Uh, we know where to use it, where not to use it, and uh, we see much benefit from uh, Endogain. What is the value of Endogain in your daily practice? There are several uh, yeah, impacts Endogain has got. Uh, first of all, um, we have very successful outcomes. It's uh, proven, doc uh, its safety is uh, well documented and um, we have um, a lot of indications for it. We see when we use it uh, for regenerative therapy or for frication involvements uh, that we can uh, re regenerate very well. We, have a, uh, we can uh, predict our success very well, so uh, it's uh, totally implemented in our daily practice. What benefit do you see for your patients? Patients appreciate very much the low morbidity, the very uneventful wound healing. They're uh, uh, very uh, fast back to the job and therefore um, they appreciate very much and are very willing to um, pay maybe some extra cost for Amdogain. Benefit for the patients uh, is uh, while the uh, regenerative treatment uh, is uh, not easy to go through for the patients that there is very low morbidity uh, in comparison to some other therapies. I think that's uh, the highest benefit. What makes Endogain so unique? I think the, again the very uneventful wound healing and the regenerative potential. One thing that makes it unique for my opinion is uh, that it's very well documented for frication therapies. We have not so much options in frication therapy, so uh, there it is unique. And I would say uh, in mucogingival therapies, uh, it's quite good documented, so that's a part of to be unique. Who should use Amdocaine? Amdocaine can be used by every dentist as long as he follows the surgical guidelines, I think so, and they has the exact uh, surgical skills. But he should really, he or she should really um, uh, see his or her limits. But I think Amdogain can be used by every dentist. In special cases, when the um, indications are there, it can be used by every dentist. When should the patient be referred to a specialist? The general dentist should um, uh, really follow the guidelines, and as, as long uh, when they see the, uh, that there are limitations, uh, like in uh, severe. Uh, advanced uh, periodontal uh, attachment loss, they should refer such as aggressive periodontitis or if they need an interdisciplinary approach with um, tooth mobilities where uh, you need a regenerative procedures as well as orthodontic tooth movements. When there is uh, tooth movement, when there is intrabony defect, when there is aggressive periodontitis, when there is uh, interdisciplinary therapy, um, that are the main reasons, I would say. And in which stage of degeneration does it make sense to regenerate the tissue and when is an implant necessary? I think that the most important thing for uh, especially general dentist is to understand that with this uh, uh, great amount of data and information regarding periodontal regeneration, even those uh, uh, very deep uh, uh, defects around teeth can be now uh, considered to be uh, well treated in a long-term basis. For which indications do you see the greatest potential for Endogain today and in the future? I think uh, Endogain can give a very good option for the clinicians and also uh, for the future more use of uh, uh, single uh, uh, recession types of uh, mucogingival lesions. Endogain has been on the market for 15 years and based on your explanations seems to be totally underused. Where do you see the usage of Endogain 015? There are specific uh, uh, small types of uh, also not only mucogingival lesions but the infrabony defects that now are uh, more um, uh, um, easily uh, uh, treated with uh, uh, a smaller amount of, uh, of the uh, molecule of the uh, gel. For which indications do you already use Endogain? And 
What are the clinical results? Well, we've been using Imdegain for several years now, and we use it for intra-bony defects around teeth to stimulate periodontal regeneration. So any type of infra-bony defect, we use it, and also for recession defects when we do uh, coronally positioned grafts. Looking at comparable options to Imdegain, are there any on the market? Imdegain is a really unique protein mixture that has a lot of different uh, properties because of it being a mixture of proteins. And there's really no other option to stimulate periodontal regeneration like Imdegain. It's a very unique protein set. Imdegain consists of mainly animal matrix proteins, which have biological effects on cells of the osteoblast lineage, including upregulation of markers of bone formation. What's the clinical benefit? Well, the benefit of Imdegain is that it regenerates not only cementum but periodontal ligament and bone and we think that the bone and the cementum are very similar and you can never have regeneration unless you have cementum formation and this is the best substance I've ever found that will stimulate cementum formation which allows for periodontal regeneration. What do you think about the finding that animal matrix derivative products also show effects on several involved tissues besides the periodontal tissue? The best part about Imdegain is that it influences a number of different uh, cells and a number of different processes. For example, it really stimulates the growth of new blood vessels called angiogenesis. So the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels, uh, Imdegain has very positive effects on that. So it really helps the wound healing and it helps us and our patients to stimulate better tissue formation around their teeth. For which indication are these findings helpful? All of these findings help with periodontal regeneration and also wound closure in the oral cavity. So we've seen very positive effects on the way the tissues heal around teeth and wherever we make incisions in the oral cavity. May I ask you in this context for your three take-home messages? Well, I think the first one is that you really have to monitor your patient at every examination under a periodontal aspect. Otherwise, you really will lose the patient or its teeth. And with Amdogain, you can really save teeth instead of removing them and placing implants. And as we know right now, uh, the, your own tooth is the best implant uh, because it works. Take care that you, um, that you keep the teeth and take care that you think about keeping the teeth instead of removal. And uh, okay, concerning Emdogain, um, I think Emdogain uh, can help you very well to uh, um, to regenerate and uh, to to keep the teeth for your patient. We should look more into periodontal treatment. Uh, periodontal treatment is something that is yes um, dedicated to the uh, elimination of an infection, but still to the um, uh, maintenance of uh, natural teeth. So number two, uh, into the hands of the, uh, the clinician of, of these days, there are several treatment options and uh, regeneration is something that can give, put back, bring back periodontal support to, to these teeth. And number three, I think that uh, this should be uh, given to the, as an information about science and medicine, to the patients. My three take-home messages for Imdegain is one, it's very evidence-based. It's been on the market for many, many years and everything we see is very positive. So it's, it's very evidence-based therapy. A second message is that it's a mixture of proteins. And because it's a mixture of proteins, it has a lot of different activities associated with it, such as bone forming, periodontal ligament forming, uh, and blood vessel forming. So the mixture of proteins is very helpful. And so these are the properties that really make this an outstanding product.